welcome back to another video. So today I am finally sharing with you my DIY alcohol ink video. So I am going to do these inks using Sharpie markers and I'm going to try the light green and bright yellow because I've never made the brighter colors. I've only done it with the darker colors as you guys have seen which is the dark pink and the dark blue. You will also need an empty nail polish bottle. Now, unfortunately, the nail supply store only had the round ones. I do prefer the square bottles, but I did have to empty out two of my nail polishes to do that. So we are going to be using the round bottles today, which is fine. You may not need this dropper tool because I'm going to show you guys how I actually do it. This is what I use with my monomer. And of course, the star of the show, you are going to need alcohol. I am using 99% alcohol. And this is also my spray bottle. So I am going to show you guys how I use that as well. Of course, must have a gloves. This is going to get messy and you don't want Sharpie markers on your fingers, on your nails, on your hands. Because remember, these are permanent markers. Also need to protect your work surface. So I use these plastic backing table towels on my nail station in general. So that is what I cover it with. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start off by removing the tip of my Sharpie marker with my cuticle nippers now you can use a pliers or tweezers whatever you want to pull it out and i'm going to drop that into the bottle this is permanently going to stay in there as long as i have alcohol inside of that bottle and then i'm going to pull the entire sharpie marker apart and remove the ink pad on the inside you can use a tool to do this for me i just find it easy to pop it off with my hands i just do it really carefully so that we don't get any splatter with ink now once i have that loose i'm I'm going to set it aside and I'm going to start filling my bottle up with alcohol. Now this is what I'm saying, you can use the dropper tool but it is going to take forever. If you have a tiny funnel this can work as well. What you do is just pour the alcohol directly into the funnel to fill up the bottle. In my case I only buy the gallon size bottles of 99% alcohol so I had to put it into a dappen dish to have more control to fill the bottle. So what I did is I squeezed the both ends of the cotton pad on the inside to see where I got more ink from and I just inserted that into the bottle. Now I only fill this bottle like three quarter and now I'm just squeezing out some of the ink to make it a little more pigmented and get that ink to the end where it's inserted into the alcohol. I did not remove the cap of the Sharpie like the barrel. I do use that to cork my bottle and then I put the cap over it so that way my alcohol does not have any way to evaporate. With this being a lighter Sharpie marker, I'm not sure exactly how this will turn out but we are going to go ahead and set this aside. I do leave them to soak overnight. So I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing with the green. I inserted the point of it inside of my nail polish bottle. And I'm just going to go ahead and take apart the Sharpie. So after I did that, I'm going to take my spray bottle now and this is how it gets easier. And I'm just going to fill that bottle three quarts away. This is actually my preferred method of filling the alcohol into the polish bottle. It's so quick and easy and I absolutely love it. So after I do that, I'm just going to repeat the exact same thing with the alcohol ink pad. I'm going to squeeze both ends, see which end gives me the most ink. I'm going to insert that into the alcohol and I'm going to squeeze some of that ink into the bottle and then I'm going to cover it and set it aside. Now I did go ahead and create a pink and a red off camera because I didn't want this video to be too long for you guys and it's basically the exact same steps that I'm just repeating and I did allow them to sit and rest. I'll meet you guys right back for the next part of the video. Here are the four colors that I made on the same day. We have the pink and the red and I did show you how I made the yellow and the green. What I want to show you is how I actually go ahead and repackage my Sharpies. Now this technique is going to work for your darker shades. As far as your yellows and oranges and the lighter Sharpies, they are not going to work. 
I would suggest cutting the plastic tubing that is wrapping ink pad inside of it. That way you get the most out of the lighter shades and you get a more pigmented alcohol ink. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove the tubing on the inside of the polish bottle. I'm going to give it a good squeeze with my hands and then I'm just going to mount my Sharpie back together again. Now even though it does not have a point on the marker, when I close it up, it's still nicely sealed in so that the ink does not dry out. As that yellow marker you see on screen, it's not the yellow that we started with because the other yellow was not making the alcohol opaque. It was keeping it really transparent. So I did mix my yellows together, but that's fine. If it is you think that you need a different shade of a color to get it nice and opaque, then by all means, go ahead and mix them up. And I got this gorgeous yellow that you see on the screen. Just going to do a really quick demo to show you guys that they actually work. Now I was surprised because I wasn't sure how they would turn out, but the lighter colors did come through a bit. So I used the pink, the green, the yellow, and I did do like two layers of each color. With my 3D brush and my 99% alcohol, I'm just going to start off by melting those colors into each other. And then I'm going to be using some acetone and I'm going to be creating some roses inside of that marble. Then I'm going to be holding my brush upright at a 90 degree angle and I'm going to use the tip of my brush to start drawing out that rose. It's just as though I'm drawing a rose using art gel or gel paint or acrylic paint. But this time I am just using the acetone to cut into that marble to create the rose. Now I really hope you guys can see it. I did dim down the brightness in my video so that you guys can actually see the detailing of the rose come through this pastel marble design. And I must say this is not my idea. I did first see this on Instagram from Helen and her Instagram handle is work with Helen and she did do a tutorial on this rose design I just wanted to try it out this was the perfect opportunity to do so so I wanted to share it with you guys as well and I would leave her Instagram information as well in the description box below creating this rose you're going to start off with a swirl in the center and right where the center of that swirl ends you're going to overlap it with one petal and then you're going to do a second petal and then you're going to overlap those two with the third petal now it's just like you're doing or drawing on a rose as i said before each petal needs to overlap each other so you get that nice rose effect now i will suggest using a finer tipped brush i was just being lazy and didn't want to reach for another brush so probably a pure color number five or maybe a number two it's all about gauging the amount of acetone in your brush you don't want too much because then your pestle is going to spread and it's going to be too big in the area that you're cleaning up that is it for my diy alcohol ink video let me just say i know i'm not the first person to create this using sharpies there are a ton of videos out here on youtube and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this one and it was simple and easy to follow if it was go ahead and leave this emoji with your comments in the comment section below give this video a big thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed please click on that subscribe button and while you're there turn your post notifications on so that you don't miss out the next time i upload a new video so that is it for me guys i am out as always i would love for you guys to keep safe and i'll see you soon